Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my happy hour live stream of Europa Universalis 4 where we are playing in the El Dorado expansion as the Incan Empire, formerly Cusco, and oh dear god we're surrounded by European powers and I want to try and make friends with one of them. I was talking with some people in uh, the comments section and also a few messages and a lot of people seem to agree that the Netherlands may be our best bet, especially considering the Portuguese. They are, they, they are, well actually, well Rio de Prata likes us. Portugal on the other hand, not so much. They want my territory. Well actually they don't hate us too badly. Huh. Uh, but they do think we're hostile towards, or they're hostile towards us rather, uh, which is intriguing. I wish I could just make friends with Portuguese Brazil, because look at that, plus 78, we like them as well, and they find us friendly, it's wonderful, we have good relations with one another. Uh, Netherlands, though, uh, we actually, they kind of like us because we've improved relations, but they also find us hostile, and we don't particularly like them, but I was looking over at British Columbia, they also quite like us, though they have more of a threatened attitude rather than, uh, you know, friendly. What about England? Oh no, they hate us too. They, they, they hate us too. Yes, yes, that is, I think that's probably going to be the case with every one of the European powers. Damn it, they're, oh no, it just went up. <laughs> they want more of our, how did it go up? We're paused. That makes no bloody sense, but all oh, right, yes, everyone hates us. We probably... Uh, I don't foresee us getting a European ally anytime soon. Netherlands still may be our best bet. They seem to hate us the least, but that whole hostile attitude towards us is problematic because that is an instant negative 100 debuff towards, uh, you know, forming an alliance. Uh, if it wasn't for that, we could do it. If they weren't hostile towards us, as you know, that they, they, we get a small minus because of our in Incan Navy strength, which is, of course, zero. We have absolutely no ships. We're still westernizing. And uh, not the same religion, not a huge, you know, downgrade there. It's that hostile attitude. I just, I want them to love us. So I have sent a diplomat out there to improve relations. Hopefully we can uh, have Holland like us a little bit more. That would be nice. How are we doing, actually, towards westernization? Oh my god, we're only halfway there. <laughs> god, so much time still left. Uh, god, how are we doing on money-wise? Eh, not great at the moment, but I think... Yes, in the last episode, I bought three advisors to give us more points, so that's understandable that we're not making great money. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I think for right now, what I'm going to kind of focus on is two things. One, this guy's going to be exploring more. Two, well, we are moving over to colonizing this, and I kind of want to block out Portugal here. So once, oh, actually, I may, once this colony is done, I may move this colonist here as well, because I want to block off Portugal from here so that they don't get, or grab any of this land. Because these are three tax bases here. Well, two. And then three there. So these are decent-ish tax bases. I mean, they're not great, but they're better than that one tax base, that one tax base, that one tax base. So I'd like to take these before Portugal gets them. Uh, the Netherlands seems to be moving southwards with theirs, which is strange. They must... Did they, like, build... A, yes, they built around grabbing higher tax base areas. And I took that one from them. Because it looks like they were heading up that way, so they began to move down south. Oh, which that's ones down there, too. Hmm. Well, they'll probably continue down here, most likely. But we'll see. We'll see. But yes, I, I kind of feel like these areas are kind of safe at the moment. I don't... Yeah, I don't believe that Portugal will, like, come over here and start colonizing. That being said, though... They, they, they cover all of this. So who knows? Who knows? They could do freaking anything for all I know. Uh, but yes, yeah. <laughs> so we need to continue with that colonizing. And I also do want to start absorbing Chimu. I probably shouldn't because I'm trying to westernize right now. But yeah. Uh, I should probably also take Charka. Hmm. Hmm. And yes, uh, Barduk32, yeah, I'm hoping that once I do finish westernizing, uh, maybe my relations will improve with them a bit. Perhaps they'll like me a little bit more, though I kind of doubt it. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe, maybe they will. But maybe I should actually absorb Charka. I've been meaning to do it for ages. 
But nah, nah, nah. Let's take out the small ones first. So we'll, we'll absorb Chimu. Let's... I have no diplomats free. Let's unpause. Actually get things moving forward. Also building-wise. Do I... Oh. What did it... Oh, it's just some natives. Okay. Uh, new exploits. We've discovered some areas. Wait, where did we discover? Oh, hold on. Cultural establishment resists westernization. Of course they do. They always do. We'll lose the prestige. Uh, did, did, did I actually unclick here? What did I discover? I probably shouldn't have clicked that off. I'm intrigued now. Was it like something up in Europe? Nope. Nope. Oh, yes, it's our guy. It's our freaking guy that we have walking around. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I've got my Kotobos Empire game also going over in Africa, and I'm used to my uh, exploration ship running around and all sorts of pop-ups, so I, I have forgotten what it was like to manually have to do this yourself. Well, that is all he can discover. Yeah, that is all he can get. Let's go back up this way, then. Castile declared war on Great Britain. Great Britain, we could be friends. I could attack their colonies over here for you. And hello, little ship. How are you? Native uprising. Oh no, what a shame. Whatever will we do? Oh dear God, lots of things popping. Growth of Huanco. I'm okay with that, even though the unrest isn't good. Hmm. So lose money. I don't like losing money. And gain tolerance of the true faith. Or gain prestige. I did just lose prestige. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the prestige gain. There we go. Excellent. New Castile. Where the crap is New Castile? Oh god, it's probably up here somewhere. Oh, more things I don't know. I really need ships. <laughs> I need ships so I can send out explorers. My little uh conquistador guy here has basically done all he can over here. Oh, we've done all we can with the Netherlands. We only got plus sixty out of it. Damn. Damn. Okay, well, oh well, what are you going to do? All right, so have him explore up there so we can find more of this territory. Uh, native uprising. Oh, no. What a shame. Such a shame. What was I going to do before? Oh, yes, I was going to look at any if there was any buildings I need to make, which there are. There always are. Admin. Yes, there we go. I don't mind spending admin points. I've got a crap load of them. I don't want to spend any diplo points. I can afford, ooh, one less ferocity, nice. I can afford a military, so let's actually, let's do that, let's, where do I need earth ramparts? Yes, yes, let's build those, must protect against any potential European invasion, there we go, alrighty. And that should put me good for now, oh, oh god, more reactionaries resisting westernization, Kajamarka. Where is Kaja Market? Somewhere in here, I believe. I say that like I actually know where things are, but I don't remember where anything is in my empire. Uh, oh, there it is. I knew it was somewhere up here, because it was one of the ones that I needed for forming Inca. And so... How big? Ten? I got a twenty stack here. We'll be good. Yep. Alright, let's just uh, go and roll right over them. That should be nice and easy. I am liking all the money we have. Once we do finish westernization, I'm going to go on a building spree. So hopefully all that will go well. And excellent. Our uh, explorer is almost where he needs to be. We discovered an agent. Oh, no. Oh, British Columbia, I thought you liked us. I thought you liked us. Ooh, you're at war with New Granada. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that pop-up earlier. And really... Now you feel hostile towards me? Oh, God. <laughs> Things are not going well for me this week. Oh, boy. Between this game and all the Europeans that are now surrounding me, thirsting for blood, and my Kotobos Empire game over in Africa just dealing with one war after another, things... Things are not so great. <laughs> but, oh, well. Such is the way of EU4. Wow, we lost five soldiers. Head back over to your nice coastal province. Chimu, 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 if we annexed you, only 30 Diplo power. I honestly wouldn't mind losing that, but... Ah, the problem is we are... Hmm. 
We've still got a ways to go on westernization, and I do still need Diplo points for westernization, and, and we are losing Diplo points. I mean, we, we're kind of... Let's see on these. Yeah, because we're only getting... We only have five in each of these. We are still losing Diplo and military points. We lost a claim on a province of San Juan. Oh, yeah, yeah, because it's... it's uh, them. They're a vassal now. <laughs> uh, excellent. How many vassals do I have? I, f I think four. Four? Oh, no, that's more than four. <laughs> okay, maybe I should absorb someone. I didn't realize I had that many vassals. I Oh, God, oh. What's my diplomatic relation limit? <laughs> oh, I'm actually at it. Five of five. Never mind, we're good, we're good. So we're not getting a diplomatic penalty for that, which is awesome. All right, you go discover that area. There should be a stable government. Indeed, there should be. Ah, lose the admin points. I've got a crap load of those. I don't mind losing any of that. So that's good. Native assimilation. Excellent. That'll speed that along. All right, new exploits. Native uprisings. Always with the native uprisings. Okay. Oh, God, I hope he doesn't get stuck down here. They better not colonize like one of these two. <laughs> or else this unit's screwed. Oh, lose army and navy tradition. Which I actually think I have none of right now. Because I'm pretty sure last week we had an, uh, an, an event that killed it. Yep, we've got none. So, oh well. <laughs> What's losing 30 more of zero? <laughs> I forgot about that event last time. Alright, recall our diplomat from Arawak. Okay. Which is my nice little one vassal, which I'll probably be keeping around for a while. Because they... They've got good tech, which is good. Actually, more than me. 15. They must have finished westernizing. Huh. Okay. So good for them. Good for them. Alrighty. Let's explore more through here. Alright. Alright. So we're in the Amazon Basin area, so we'll probably run into more Portugal soon. And, of course... Oh, yep, there's more Portugal. Ah, uh, damn you, Portugal. Damn you to hell. And I... Oh, yep, that's Wasteland there, so I can't go anywhere down here. Alright, so that means head back up this way. Discover those bits right in here. And then back up towards this section. Oh, don't worry, lethal lethal guy. You haven't missed much in the first ten minutes. It's mostly been me going, Oh, God, what am I going to do about all these Europeans? Most likely die. That's that's probably what's going to end up happening. Oh, oh, what the? What the? When did Portugal... Did, did we get a pop-up for Portugal and Netherlands going to war with one another? <laughs> I don't... I don't remember this. Who's winning? Oh, currently Portugal is. That is... Interesting. Click on you. There we go. So you're at war. Oh, because the Netherlands is a, is allied with Great Britain, and Great Britain went to war. I remember that. Okay, so that explains it. Wow, damn though, Great Britain. You've got all sorts of friends. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Good for them. Good for them. I want to make friends with you. Oh, but you hate me so much. So very much. <laughs> I sincerely doubt I'm going to be able to make friends with any of the European powers. They all just freaking hate me. Okay. Okay. So. Discover that. Oh, God. More people going against westernization. Uh, grant autonomy. Gain some local unrest, but they get autonomy in... Where? Provinces resume... Some of the provinces... Blah, 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 blah. But which provinces? It's not... Is, is that just for everyone? Oh, because... Oh, God. I'm going to have to take it, though. And it'll reduce the unrest. And I don't want to lose westernization, because we... Oh, God. We still have so far to go on that. We're only roughly 70% of the way there. I'm going to have to do it. It's going to suck granting them autonomy, because that's going to hurt my taxes, my uh, manpower... And a lot of other things. Oh, oh okay, okay. That's self-sustaining. So let's pop you. Send the colonists there and send you there. Uh, 
Uh, admin points for coring that. Yes, excellent. There we go. You, buildings. Wall. Excellent. Excellent indeed. Let's just unpause that. How far are you on your colonizing? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Glory to the realm, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Army organizer. A new one. Intriguing. Okay, you. You. Oh, wow, you're in two wars right now. <laughs> I, d I, I sincerely doubt, though, he's going to send any forces to go help with Austria, Brunswick, Salzburg. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I doubt that's going to be a problem for them. All right, let's head up this way with our explorer. All righty. So yeah, we're blocking them off nicely there. That is good. I hope this plan doesn't backfire on me and they suddenly pop colonies there. That would be awful. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me, though. It wouldn't surprise me. Oh, boy. They've almost got that colony finished, too. So we'll see what Portugal does next. All right. Gained our core. Excellent. Beautiful. You. You get a temple. Gotta increase that tax modifier. Which I'm still, I'm still wondering how in the world that's gonna go in the next update when they release that next month. Because yeah, it's June 9th, I believe, that that's going out. And yeah, I'm still, I'm still curious as to how the next update's gonna go. It's completely changing the whole building system, and I don't know how to feel about it yet. Okay, so there... Oh, they popped right on our soldiers. Yeah, we'll be fine. But yeah, I don't. I'm still... Oh no, our military leader died! Eh. Eh. I'm not I'm not too worried about that at the moment. But yeah, I'm still, still very, very much worried about how the building system will be changing in the next update. It's just having such a drastic overhaul, it worries me. But who knows, it might be, might be fine. So what are these? Local unrest? What province? Ah. Uh. You know what? I'll take the unrest hit. Screw it. <laughs> I don't have any rebellions going right now. Ah, and so that's where Portugal went to next. Really, that one? That was a one tax base. I'm surprised that they did that. Oh, God. So they're filling in all of this in here. That's not going to be good for me. Let's see. Were any other decent tax base ones? Hmm. All right. Oh, God. What is that? Rikaba? Oh, your name's kind of hard to see. It's green on my chat window. So sorry if I mispronounced that. Galapagos? Oh, son of a bitch, they did. Oh, I wanted that island. <laughs> but I have no ships. I'm still Inca. I have no ships whatsoever. Oh, that sucks. I wanted to take those. Well, damn you, French. <laughs> oh... In Juniper, will I start a new game in when the next update comes? Yes, I will. I've been doing that with all the updates because so far, every update that I've played has broke my previous save files. So, <laughs> I'll most likely end up doing that anyways. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum. Okay. Seven nibbles. Yeah, I'll take that. Nearest army is this one, and you're saying, oh god, what's that? I should colonize the northern coast. I really should, actually. That's going to be my next focus. It's just Portugal is yeah, is annoying me at the moment. I actually think once I finish this guy, I may send him... No, no, because I want him to do that. Oh, no, that's a one tax base. Now, screw it. Once, yeah, this guy, I'll start moving up this way with that, and then I'll f use this guy to fill in these and fill in that. That should be good. That coastline kind of all sucks there, so I don't mind it too much. But yes, I do plan to uh, start colonizing up here. Just been wanting to fill in these thus far. Wish I had another colonist. What are my ideas? Do I get another? Co oh god, it's like way down the Diplo tree, which I don't. Oh, uh, I don't have the points for. How's the westernizing? Oh, we're getting so close. We'll do it in tonight's stream, which will be good. Which will be good. We should be able to finish that up quite nicely. We won against the nobles. Excellent. You park yourself back there. You. 
You like me at the moment. How are my vassals? Do any of them not like me so much? Karib, you need some improving of relations. So let's do that. Not accidentally send an insult like I did with my uh, <laughs> Kotobos Empire game that I'm also playing. I accidentally sent an insult to my own colonial nation. That was, that was not good. <laughs> And you know what? We may go to war with France over that island one day. One day. But right now, no. <laughs> no. They, they're big. I should actually send a diplomat to them. Oh, oh no, that's Karib. Oh, yeah, I can't look at him yet. Uh, wine there, excellent. Ah, uh, I'll lose army tradition again. Oh no, my non-existent army tradition. All right, self-sustaining colony, good. Ah, I kind of want them to use the, no, no. I, I like I like the idea of sending the coastline up here. I really should be doing that. I've just been focusing so much on this stuff. We'll send them up here. So we'll do this one first. Colonize that. It'll probably get damaged by the time I get there. Actually, what is the makeup of that army? Oh no, native uprising. You are, uh, you're just purely for infantry. So actually, let's move you to here instead. Come on, come, what, why aren't you? Why aren't you letting me move you? Interesting. On pause? Yeah, that, that was strange. I've never been able to not move an army when paused before. And yeah, we'll grab four infantry from here. So their ranks will just get filled up. There we go. So we'll be able to get there before any potential damage to the colonies happens. On pause. I also need to colonize all this stuff, even though it's kind of crap, but I want it. I want it. I needs it. I probably should also colonize that. But this will be better tax base. Then we'll grab this one and this one. Ooh, that's a five. Oh, no, never mind. We're doing this one, then this one. <gasps> Oh no! <laughs> More enemies! Uh, let's see, Portugal and Castile there. Oh, yay. Oh god, I completely forgot about this guy. You! Continue to explore! Well, at least I'm doing things up here now, so I shouldn't forget him again. I say that, but it'll happen. I'll forget. Oh yes, glory to the realm, blah blah blah. Explore it! Oh, uh, native uprising. Oh no. Those happen. Quite often. Okay. So we got that. That is the coastline. Excellent. Oh no, another native uprising. Alright, now let's move him up to here. Do I have any national decisions that would... Ooh, oh, induce a vision quest. We have a theologian right now. Stability costs would go up, but we would get yearly prestige. And ah, uh, that would help. What's the other one? National unrest down, but stability cost. What is my current stability cost to boost? A lot. A lot. <laughs> uh, and yes, Br 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 Hugo. Oh, dear Lord. I didn't say that name right at all in chat. Yes, we did become the Incas several weeks ago. Good times. Good times. Um, oh, God. I kind of want to take that idea. The prestige would be good to have less decay with that. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell? We'll induce a vision quest. Can we take a policy? No, no, because we, uh, yeah, we've only finished up one idea group, haven't we? Yeah. I need to finish up another one before that. Uh, exploring automatically, ships will. Uh, you, they have a little button where you can tell them to go explore places. The manual guys don't seem to. I was actually confused by that when seeing the ships with the new update. Oh, God, lose stability. Oh, uh, we're going to have to do it because I don't want to lose the the uh, westernization drop. All right, let's just spend the admin points to boost it. Okay, there we go. Back to one. Hmm. Hmm. And does France hate us yet? They do. <laughs> Holy crap. Negative 200 as well. Really? They want, like, all of my provinces. And yet... They are willing to trust us somewhat. 
Well, I'm not willing to trust them. They have a Cassus Belli against me. They have a different religion. Those dirty... Um, yes, they're Catholic, of course. Uh, and, and then once our provinces... Damn you. We are the glorious Inti Incas. It is our way. We're probably going to die. Horrible, horrible deaths. Oh, boy. <laughs> Damn them for taking the Galapagos. Ah, yes, you. You have made it there, so let's combine you up. Lovely. I actually have way too much infantry in that unit. I should be building some more cavalry and cannons. Hmm, yes, that's good. What about this other military unit? What is, do they have a similar makeup? They do. They have a almost identical makeup. Uh, for me, what? Yeah, 50%. Hmm. I should drop, like, two infantry... Or three infantry... Yeah, three infantry. Give get two more cavalry. Ooh, nah. Ooh, ooh. I like money, but I also like admin points. <laughs> ah, yeah. I'm gonna take the admin points. I'm gonna take the admin points. And oh god, we're almost out of diplo power. <laughs> we are running low on that. And I wanted to take the admin points so that I could do this. There we go. I like having more than one stability. Oh, damn it. I keep forgetting to make those cores. Uh, I still haven't gotten used to that. It's been months since the update that changed that. But yeah, when you used to colonize, it used to automatically become cored because you colonized it. But I can't remember if it was this update or the last one. It changed that, so you have to manually do it. And I still haven't remembered that. <laughs> uh, hmm. All right. Uh, the dark gray areas east of the Incas. Hold, oh, hold on. I gotta get a noble revolt. There we go. Uh, that is wasteland. You cannot go into it. Bribber Hugo. Say so yeah, that, that that is just dead area. You can't go into it. You can't colonize it. You can do nothing with it. It is just there to taunt you. I'd love to colonize in there. But, oh well, send in our army. And well, that is actually... All I can actually explore with this guy at the moment. Hmm. Well, we'll bring him back into the fold of the Empire for now. Have him come back down here. I'll uh, take his horse and move it into another unit. Or actually, what is my current... I could build another army. I should build another army. Yes, we're going to build another army. Okay, production efficiency, that's glorious. You head down to our capital. We'll or reorganize you. Oh, I unclicked off of him. <laughs> there we go. Reorganize yourself at the capital. There we are. Hmm. All right. Let's see. We've won. Oh, oh! I just looked down at my timer. I need to end the first half of the video today. Uh, so let us pause. Oh, our military leader just died. Oh no. Oh, our conquistador. Well, good thing he discovered everything he could before dying. That was fortuitous. Uh, but yes, uh, this is going to have to be the end of the first half of the stream. If you are watching right now live, you're just... Good, stay there, we'll continue on. But if you're watching this on YouTube, after the fact, you can come back on Thursday to catch the second half of the stream, or of course, come back and join us Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern, to watch it live and revel in the glory that is the Incan Empire. Uh, but yes, I hope you all have enjoyed, and that you do come back for the next, but until then, thank you for watching, and have a good one.